Hello and thank you for joining. Today's tutorial is going to be Java tutorial number seven and today we're going to walk through an example of how to get user input. And we're going to use something called the scanner utility in order to do that. In order to get user input, as I mentioned, we're going to use the scanner functionality. And then I'm going to show you that you're going to have to do an import in your Java program in order to import those Java utilities or the scanner utilities. And what I've done down here, just for reference, is I put some sample code of how to get, you know, someone's name, get them to enter it, and then get it to print it out. So pretty basic. But what we're going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and do a demo, and we're going to do get a string, and in this case a name, and then we're also going to get a number. Um, so we're going to bring in an integer also. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the tutorials package here. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to create a new class. And I'm going to go ahead and call it, I guess I'll call it user input. And I'm going to go ahead and add the public static void main line. Let's say finish. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here under the, under the start of the program here. Well, the first thing I'm going to do, well, I'll show you what will happen here. I'm going to go ahead and let's add a comment here. Let's go ahead and get the user's name. But then here, we're going to run something called a scanner. And the command for that is scanner in is equal to new scanner. And then we're going to do system dot in. And you can see that's going to be input stream. So I'm going to go ahead and type in. And now I'm going to go ahead and hit that. And now you see right here I have an X. I'm going to hover over it and it says scanner cannot be resolved to a type. And the reason why that is is the built-in tools within Java don't know about that. So we have to import them. And how we do that is we go over here and we say import. And in this case I'm going to do java.util. And I can do a couple different things here. I can keep going here and type IL and I can do the scanner and that would import just the scanner. Well, I did something wrong there. Oh, cannot be resolved. I think it's uppercase. Go back here and there you have scanner, it's uppercase. Or I could just put an asterisk here. So I'm just going to put an asterisk here for right now, then I close it with a semicolon. And now you can see that goes away. And I'm going to go ahead, go down here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a system dot out dot print. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and do please enter your name. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a space and close the quotes. And then what I'm going to do is when they enter, whoop, I forgot the semicolon there. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here, and since it's a name, it's a string. So I'm going to type string, and then my variable is going to be called name. That's what I'm going to get. And then I'm going to set that equal to in dot next line. Okay, and I can see over here, when you use Eclipse, you'll see you'll get the suggestions pop up. So I'm going to go ahead and do next line. By the way, um, you could do next without the line as a string also. Uh, this one, next line, will let you do, um, you know, if you had spaces in it, this would take it. Whereas this would have to be contiguous with no white space. So I'm going to do next line. So someone could theoretically enter their first and last name. And then I'm going to go ahead and now I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to do a out. I'm going I'm to put a comment here. I'm going to say print out, print out information. Okay, then I'm going to do system.out. So SYSO, hold down the control key, hit the space bar for a shortcut. And I'm going to say hello. And then I'm going to do a space and I'm going to say plus. And what I want to do, I want to add the name. And then I'm going to hit space, and then I'm going to do another plus, 
because I want to concatenate the hello with the variable plus something else and I'm going to have a open the quote so now this is just text that it doesn't compute anything so I'm going to say welcome to Java programming okay and then what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and save that so I'm going to say file save and then I'm going to go ahead and run it I'm going to click run up here and now I come down here I click down in the console please enter your name I'm going to enter Rick and then you can see hello Rick welcome to Java program and now you can see there's no space there could use a little cleanup so what I'm going to do here I'm going to go ahead and I want to clean that up a little bit so I'm going to do space here and I'm going to do comma and then I'm going to do lowercase w and now I'm going to rerun it I'm going to right click and say run as Java application say OK to save it please enter my name I click down in the console and there you have it oh, actually that's I'm going to do it right I'm actually going to clean that up one more time We'll get there. And then I'm going to do space there. That looks correct. Run as Java application. Say OK. And there you have it. Much, much cleaner. OK, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and add some other information here. I'm going to get the user's daily sales. So I'm going to do system dot out dot print and then I'm gonna open parentheses and then I'm gonna put please enter your days sales total okay and then what I'm gonna do close that and then I'm gonna put a semicolon there and then now what I did here you see I I called it a string then I gave it a name so over here, this is a number, so I'm going to do an integer, or INT, which is going to be a whole number. In this case, I'm going to call it sales, and then I'm going to say equals, and in, dot, next. And now we're doing, instead of next line, which is for a string, we're going to do next int. Okay, so I'm going to choose that, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit the semicolon. By the way, I could make this a double, like if I had, if I wanted them to be able to enter $350.75, but if it's a whole number, we'll leave it like that. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead, let's let's run that, uh, actually, let me fix this down here. Hello, plus the name, comma, your sales total today was space, and then I put down here, Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do was space, was space, dollar symbol, close the quote, plus, what am I going to add here? I want to print out their sales, which is right here. So I'm going to do sales. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and run it. It's going to prompt me to save it. I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to go ahead and enter my name. And then we're going to go ahead and assume we had a very big day and we're going to say uh, let's see three thousand thirty five hundred dollars okay hello Rick your sales total today was thirty five hundred dollars alright so that's what I wanted to share with you today thanks for joining and please subscribe take care